Right, it's the second time I've started recording this video, guys, but the first time I didn't press record. Um, so, firstly, I apologise if you can hear the howling wind rattling the windows. It's so windy today. It's actually a really nice sunny day, um, and it's supposed to be like 20-something degrees in England this week. However, this wind is insane, and I live in a really old house, so my windows are like rattling and howling. So I'm sorry for that. Um, it is another monthly favourite. How is it the end of April? Where is my life going? It is disappearing before my eyes and it's terrifying, but it's time to tell you about some lovely beauty products that I've been using this month. I've got three beauty like makeup ones and then three skincare items. I've spoken quite a lot about skincare this month, so um, you might have seen me talk about them, but I thought I would put them in my favourites because they have absolutely been favourites as well. I'm going to start off with the makeup and the first one is from a limited edition collection that came out this month. It's from the NARS Erdem collection which I did a full review and swatches on my blog if you guys haven't seen it. This collection was like drop the mic amazing. Like I have not seen such a beautiful collection in a long time. This is actually one of the least exciting looking products. They had beautiful like illustrated flowers on the front of the palettes. Um, the colour is just beautiful, the packaging, like the whole collection was just stunning and the colour choice is really pretty. If you want to see the whole collection, like I said, I reviewed it on my blog so head over to flutterforce.com and you can see all the pictures. This product really surprised me because it definitely wasn't the one that I thought would be my favourite from the collection. I thought it would be the eyeshadow palette, which was called Fleur Fatale, which is, I mean, come on, how could I not like it? However, my favourite one was this. This is the Loves Me Not blusher. I've always liked NARS blushes. Um, because they're really pigmented and they blend beautifully and they're just really, they're brilliant. However, this one looks really wishy-washy and not like it would be particularly, like, wow. But, um, this is actually so good, it's so natural, it's just really, really lovely on my skin tone. If you've got a darker skin tone, I think it probably would be, like, not there enough. The other blush in the collection is way more punchy, but for me that's a bit too much. Um, but yeah, I really, really like this. It's just a really beautiful kind of natural flush and I've been wearing it pretty much every day. I'm wearing it today, although to be honest, whenever I film, everything gets a little bit washed out so you probably can't see it too well in, in this light, but it is lovely. And then another thing that I've been wearing pretty much every day this month is kind of a rediscovery from, I can't remember when, I've definitely included this in a favourites before, but it was quite a while ago. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer in Radiant Bronze Light. So pretty, so natural. Um, but still actually makes a difference. I find a lot of the time with bronzers, they don't actually make that much difference. I can put loads on and then I'm like, was there really any point in this bronzer? Whereas this one, it makes a difference, but it's still really natural and glowy and gorgeous. And I just, I love hourglass powders anyway, but this, their bronzers are my particular favourites. So that's also been a favourite this month. And then lastly on the makeup front is the lipstick I'm wearing right now that I'm hoping is not on my teeth because I didn't do the lipstick teeth test before I started filming because I've just managed to stop the baby crying and I'm like, rush filming this in between. Um, this is The Duchess from Charlotte Tilbury. It's such a beautiful pink. Pink lipsticks can be a little bit tricky, but this one is kind of like halfway in between a nude and a pink, so it's really wearable. Like, it's definitely more punchy than a nude, but it's not as, like, pink pink as a rose pink. I don't know, it's just... It is like a rose pink, but it's just really beautiful and the texture is gorgeous. It's one of the, I think it's just her normal range of lipsticks. It's not like the matte one or anything. It's like a nice creamy finish. Gorgeous rose gold packaging as per usual from Charlotte. Um, love it. The Duchess, my number one favourite lipstick at the moment. And then I have three skincare favourites this month and I'm going to talk to you um, about them in the order that I apply them. First one is the Elemis Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Pads. These are um, chemical exfoliating pads. They come like pre-soaked. I feel like this is the kind of thing you either love, hate. Um, they smell really good, which is just kind of surprises me for this kind of product. Normally this kind of product either doesn't smell or smells quite like astringent. However, these smell amazing, really fruity and nice. These work both on an enzymatic basis, so they have a, like a tri-enzyme cocktail in there that Elemis use, and then they also have AHA, so they are acid and enzyme-based exfoliators, um, or ex an exfoliator, because it's just one pot, but there's many pads in there. Um, they're one-use pads that you kind of like massage into your skin. These are really, really convenient. The pot is actually big, a lot bigger than it needs to be, I think. It could be like a lot less chunky than this, but I really, really like these. I've definitely noticed a difference in the kind of week or so that I've been using them, um, and they're just very convenient. 
Yes, they probably don't last as long as like Pixi Glow Tonic if you get a bottle of that. But I personally really like these. So yeah, Elemis Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Pads. Really good. And then two other things that I've been using. The first is the Retinol. This I know this has been in a couple of videos recently. Um, but this is the Peter Thomas Roth Retinol Fusion PM. So it's a night serum with 1.5% micro-encapsulated retinol, so it's not the same as like just the legit straight up retinol, it's more gentle, um, with vitamins C and E, so it's really brightening. I notice such a difference when I use retinol and I'm so happy to be using it again after not using it when I was pregnant, it's just, it just adds such a, it just makes such a difference. The next day after I've used this I can really tell the difference. It's quite expensive, I think this is about 40 or 50 pounds, something like that. I'm actually gonna buy the night, the eye cream, the night eye cream, though that goes with it, like the retinol eye cream, because this has been so good. That is like next on my list. I might order it today, actually. Um, and then last but not least, I really hope this wasn't in last month's favorites, because if it was, I've got a terrible memory, but either way, it's definitely been a favorite this month too. Um, this is the Paula's Choice Resist Youth Extending Daily Hydrating Fluid with SPF 50. Um, I've never used anything from Paula's Choice before. Um, I just feel like the name and the actual like branding is pretty unappealing. Like it doesn't make me say like, oh yeah, I really want to try products from that. However, I had a chat with my friend Lucy about this and she was like, I love them. They're such a good brand. And I was like, actually I've been, ha I've had this like in my cupboard for like things to use for ages. And I finally started using it and it's really really brilliant it's such a good texture it's almost like um halfway in between a serum and a cream it's very very lightweight but still very moisturizing but it doesn't have any kind of like chalky whiteness at all um it's just really nice it says broad spectrum spf for normal oily or combination skin so i feel like it would be good for everybody has antioxidants and soothing plant extracts prevents visible signs of aging minimizes appearance of pores and promotes visibly firmer skin also says it's clinically proven to be non-irritating, 100% fragrance free, no added dyes and no animal testing. Um, so this is just a really like one-stop shop for moisturiser and SPF and I have found it to be very, very good. Especially as it's getting a little bit more sunny and spring-like, I've been really, really cautious about putting SPF on. Um, I should think just the older you get as well, the more wary you become of it and there's been a few instances recently where I've known people that have had skin cancer scares and skin cancer and I just, yeah, now more than ever I want to protect my skin, so, um, and, but I want to do that without having to put some disgusting, chalky, greasy SPF on my face, um, which then makes makeup sit badly and all that kind of stuff, so this is really good, I love it, it's about £21, I think, um, and it's very, very good, and I like it a lot, and that is it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it, I'm gonna go back downstairs now and check that the baby's all right. She's chilling with Mike. Hopefully she hasn't woken up and started screaming again. Um, I hope you all are having a lovely day and I hope you've had an amazing April. I upload every Wednesday and Sunday. If you are not already subscribed, then please subscribe to see more and I will see you very soon. Bye guys.